Hey guys, my name is Heather Mallory. I am a professional makeup artist and I'm here in Walla Walla, Washington. And if you guys want to see this really pretty makeup look, it can be an everyday or a bridal or a going out to party makeup look. I love it because it's really simple, it's really pretty, and it compliments almost everybody. So stay tuned and watch if you want to see this look. So for this look, what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to prime your eyes with a primer. And I love MAC Paint Pots. And I usually love to use like Painterly or Soft Ochre. But I got this one last Christmas and it's called Utterly Becoming. And I'm going to use the rest of this up just because I still have about, I don't know, a third of the pot left. So I am just using a flat brush. This is my 242 MAC brush that I'm going to be using to put this on. And you'll want to do one eye at a time when you put your base on just because it dries really fast. It is a clay base so you want to work with this pretty fast. You don't need a lot of product while you're applying it. So I'm going all the way from my lash line all the way up to the brow of my eye. And I also make sure I get my inner tear duct as well because I will be applying color. If you do under eyeliner and you go the whole way across, make sure you put your primer all the way across too. So our next step is going to be putting on our highlight color. So right under our brow, I love nylon. If you guys watch any of my videos, you will know that this is one of my always favorite colors that I go to. So this is nylon, it's from MAC Cosmetics. And I'm just using a really big fluffy brush. This is my 227 brush, the short handled one from MAC. And I'm just applying that right under the brow bone. And make sure you get the inner corner of the eye too. And this brush works perfect for my eye shape and how much room I have up top. Some of you might like to use the 242 brush, which I do go back through and go in and just touch up any little areas that I want to add more color. I do go into my tear duct as well and I really highlight and kind of bring that angle and corner into my eye. And I go a little bit just halfway So it should look like that and then I'm gonna do that to the other side of my eye and then I'll show you what the next step is so now that I have my highlight color my primer on I'm gonna go ahead and use one of the pressed pigments from Mac these are amazing I love these little things um, they are like glittery shadows and they're pressed into a eyeshadow pigment and this one is really popular this one's called moth and it's like a lavender, a really light lavender color. So I'm going to apply that all over the lid of my eye. And I'm really packing that flat brush that I'm using, the 242, into the product. Don't use your fingers with this. So then I am just going to press this all over the lid of my eye. And I'm actually really pushing it onto my lid and I'm packing it. And it's like a packing motion. I'm going to go ahead and add my best friend color into my crease so it kind of breaks it up and it adds a little dimension to my eyeshadow. So I love to use Brown Script from MAC Cosmetics. So this is Brown Script from MAC Cosmetics, and this is the color that I'm going to be using in my crease to kind of break everything up. 
And I am using my 286, I just bought this brush not too long ago. And it is a great blending brush. It's one of the mineralized ones. It's a newer brush. And so I'm gonna start on this outer corner of my eye and do really small circular motions. And then I'm going to buff the color up into my crease. And I'm staying at the base of the brush so then I have more control of it. And so it gets lighter sweeps. So I'll just go back and forth like windshield like wiper motions. And just kind of make that outer V in the corner of your eye. So circles and then back and forth. And kind of just stay in that crease, the brow bone. And I go all the way in, not always, but with this look I am. I feel like it looks like still dramatic, but not too dramatic. It's going to be soft, like a soft dramatic. So that's what it should look like when you're finished. And you can make it as dark or as light as you want. So I'll go ahead and do the other side. I'm going to go ahead and add a black to the outer corner to kind of smoke it up. And you could use a dark gray, or if you don't like black, you can always use like a dark brown. I'm going to use black because I really feel like it intensifies my eyes. And it's a color that I feel comfortable with. So I'm going to go ahead and use Carbon from MAC Cosmetics. And I'm going to use a different brush this time. I'm going to use the 217 blending brush from MAC Cosmetics. It would be a great stiff brush to get that color packed into the lid. So what I'm going to do first with packing this color on to my lid on the outer corner is I do staple motions and so I push it in to my eye just by pushing it. This creates less foliage under your eye, less of a mess. So I'm just taking it up to the lash line and just kind of like pushing it into my eye lid. And we will blend this color a bit. But for right now, we're just pushing, doing small pushing motions. Make sure you get the outer V, because you don't want to forget that guy. I'm going to head in really softly blend this. I could go back and use my 286 brush from MAC and just kind of buff it out, but I'm still going to use this 217 brush and just really softly. I'm not adding any product to the brush. I'm just going to go really softly from like this outer corner and just push it into my crease line. Just really subtly, not very hard. I'm not trying to add product or anything. And bring it about to the middle of your eye. So it should kind of look like that. And like nice blended I love to use a gel eyeliner and this one's the fluid line and it's called Black Track from MAC Cosmetics. It goes on so smooth and that's probably one of the reasons why I love it and it's waterproof so it stays all day. So I'm going to use my 263 angled brush from MAC Cosmetics and I'm going to dip my brush into the paint pot. I make sure that I get both sides of the brush coated really nicely. And I wipe it off on the outer corners so I'm not getting too much product. Either. Brush flat. I don't want it to cake down with product. So, kind of like that. So then with my angled liner, I'll kind of lean in so you guys can see this a little bit better. A little bit better. So you can see this a little better. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is I kind of start in the middle and I just kind of create a triangle so I'm following it up 
and then I will meet it. I'm going from my bottom lash line and just kind of meeting it upward and then I fill it in. And then I'll kind of create it a little bit thicker. So I'm going to go from the inner corner to the outer corner. I'm just doing really light strokes. I'm not doing anything like really long or crazy. And I'm just kind of resting my brush on top of my eyelashes or my lash line. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but... I can feel it. And then I'm just getting this inner corner of my eye. I'm just using some makeup remover. This one's from MAC and it's just the pro eye makeup remover and then I'm just taking a q-tip and this one I kind of overdrew just a little bit so I'm just gonna kind of clean it up and then sometimes if I get a little bit of black under my eye from the eyeshadow I'll just really lightly just sweep it and then I'll touch it up with some, some concealer afterwards So for my eyelash primer, I love, usually I'll use Dior, but I've been really loving this lately. It's the MAC Prep and Prime, and it's just your Prep and Prime eye. It's for your lashes. It goes on white, so I'll kind of show you guys. I feel like it really conditions my eyelashes. It makes them longer, and it restores all the vitamins back that my lashes really need favorite mascara that I've been using from MAC. I do have other favorite mascaras, but I just don't have one right now that I'm using or that's currently open. But this is the Studio Sculpt Lash. So the Studio Sculpt Lash has this comb brush to it. It's so different and I love it because I don't like clumpy mascara and I like it kind of naturally built. So we're going to put this on my lashes. And I kind of work from the base of my eyelash and bring it all the way up to the tip. Okay guys, I just put on my false eyelashes from MAC Cosmetics. These ones are the number 34 lashes. They are so pretty and long and they're kind of reminding me of like butterflies because they just are so pretty. Um, so... If you guys want to know more details on about applying false lashes, I do have a video on that. And you guys can watch that too. Thanks guys. Have a great holiday.